Hey everyone, this is TJP Tutorials and welcome to the third part of how to make a website using Notepad. If this is the first you've watched then I'd recommend going back and watch the previous two as you might find them useful in this one. As always, we're going to start by opening a new Notepad document and open the HTML, the head and the title. I'm going to simply call my title Link Tutorial and close the title. Okay, and underneath here you want to close the head and I'm going to open up the body as usual I'm not going to bother putting a background colour because this is just the link tutorial alright now I'm going to show you how to add another page to your website how to add the link to another page anyway if you do want to make another page you have to make it on a separate uh, notepad document and you can link it by putting a space href equals open speech marks here you put the address of your or the name of your document make sure it's .html and you have to make sure it's in the same folder otherwise it won't recognize it so I'm going to put test.html because that's one I've done already I've closed speech marks and closed the tab and now I'm just going to put test there because that's what it will appear as on my actual website and I'm just going to close a okay so now file save as I'm just going to put link tutorial. Save that, and I'm going to save as link tutorial dot html. So now I can open that on the website or the internet. Sorry. So here you see link tutorial. I'm going to open that and test right there. So we clip that. Hopefully, yep. Yeah, here we go. Let's take it to the other page I've made. I'll go back. Uh, yep. Yeah. And now I'll show you how to link it to uh, a web page, a uh, already made web page. So a href that you would with, with uh, the other file and open. I'm going to put Google because it's easy. HTTP www. You want to make sure that you put the whole web address, otherwise it won't recognize uh, the website. You can close the speech box and close that. And I'm going to put it as Google as that's what I want it to appear as and close the A file. So you go onto your website, press refresh or F5, and as you can see, I've got Google here, which um, yep yeah, takes me straight to the Google homepage. And now onto making the menu bar. The menu bar is not really anything special. It's basically um, as many of, the, of these as you want. And I'm going to center mine just by opening center, and underneath, then at the end, I'm just going to close center. Uh, save that, refresh, and it's in the it's in the center. And I have myself here a menu bar. Alright, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you find it useful. If you do, then why not like and favorite the video and subscribe for the next tutorial, which will be coming out in the next couple of days. Alright, guys, thanks. Bye.